you. Let's talk about your presence here at the World Economic Forum. When people talk about the potential of Africa, in many cases, they talk about the potential of Nigeria. The interest that you've seen here, what, pe what are people interested in? Well, people are interested in the huge potentials that we have in Nigeria. Uh, people are looking at uh, the areas of uh, solid mineral development. Uh, they are looking at areas of agriculture. They are also looking at uh, how to set up manufacturing uh, in, you know, industries in Nigeria, mm -hmm. even though they are expressing reservations on the issues of uh, power and infrastructure. Uh, people are also very interested in the entertainment and the creative arts right. you know, uh, in Nigeria. Sure. So we are here to, you know, to uh, seek for partnerships, you know. Yeah. How strong, how strong has, that been, the, has been that interest? The interest has been very strong. We yeah. have had a series of meetings, uh, a lot of them exploratory. Uh, we have uh, some groups that are even um, planning to come to Nigeria immediately after this, you know, so that we can progress on some of the, the discussions, you know, that we have. Um, a, a very strong interest has been expressed in solid mineral, you know, exploitation, yeah. you know, in Nigeria. Yeah. And, and um, it's been amazing. So, where are these companies coming from? Are they African companies? Are they European companies? Are they Chinese? Of course, we hear all sorts of stories about how uh, we had a debate yesterday about South, uh, South Cooperation, and a lot of the interest that we had was that it's not just the traditional investors that are looking at Africa. Yeah. We are also looking at new investors coming to the continent. What, you, what are you seeing? Yeah, um, I have had a lot of discussions with um, some African entrepreneurs, um, especially the South African uh, you know, business group. I've also had a discussion with some Europeans, you know, the Europeans that are interested in, you know, setting up um, uh, manufacturing uh, industries, uh, you know, in Nigeria. Uh, like I said, all these have been on an exploratory basis. Um, but people are happy with what has happened in Nigeria now. Yeah. You know, the successful elections, very transparent and free. Sure. You know, that has soared the rating of, you know, Nigeria in the international, you know, community. Mm -hmm. And uh, looking at the huge market that Nigeria has, you know, we have a population of over 150 million people. Sure. You know, the potentials, other than oil, you know, some people believe that Nigeria has only oil. In fact, oil is just a tip of the iceberg. The other sectors, the kind of uh, potential that we have are amazing. And they have not been exploited. Right. And that is what we are selling to the world. Yeah. You know, that uh, we are ready to receive them. We have a new president, you know, that is uh, keen on transforming Nigeria. He wants to create a new modern Nigeria, you know, with an economic growth, you know, in, you know, in, in key sectors like uh, industrial production, yeah. looking at the oil um, uh, sector reforms, he's looking at soil mineral development, he's looking at agriculture and then um, expanding the knowledge base, uh, you know, services, yeah. you know, and somebody that wants to carry out radical reforms, you know, in um, power and, uh, you know, infrastructure so that uh, Nigeria will have a very sustainable power supply yeah. uh, so that, you know, the economic uh, activities uh, will boom. Yeah. Let's talk about numbers here in terms of what you're seeing in your operations in Nigeria. What kind of growth are you seeing in terms of money that you're lending to Nigerian importers and exporters? Well, um, for the past 20 years that Nexim has been in operation, we've been able to lend over 700 million US dollars, you know, to the Norway sector. And um, the growth has been monumental, but I think we still, we still need to do more. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the, the Nigeria trade flow, you know, within the ECOWA sub-region and Africa as a whole, it is still very insignificant. Mm -hmm. Within Africa, looking at uh, what, in aggregate terms, you know, what uh, the ECOWA state have, uh, have in terms of uh, non oil export. Yeah. It's just about 200 million US dollars. Yeah, because now what I'm thinking is that I asked the question because I'm looking at Nigeria having held what most people are saying were very credible elections, in fact, the most credible elections in decades. Yes. And what that does, of course, is that it places Nigeria uh, in the spotlight and in a, in, a, in a good position to be able to attract more. Yeah. So with that in mind, how much of an impact would it have on the interest that's been shown in coming to invest in Nigeria? Um, the interest is going to be, you know, very significant. Um, like I said, a lot of people are interested in coming. Yeah. And like rightly said... I suppose it will be coming up later on in the year. 
Yeah, even now, you have a lot of inquiries. Even before we came for the World Economic Forum, mm -hmm. we've been receiving a lot of inquiries, you know, from uh, people that want to come into the country mm -hmm. uh, because the elections have actually sold the rating of, 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 the, of the country. Mm -hmm. It has opened up a very business-friendly environment, you know, to, you know, for everybody. And we in Nexenbank, uh, we expect that um, we'll be able to attract a lot of investment capital, you know, to be able to support more, you know, exporters. Yeah. Um, in terms of numbers, um, um, we are looking at uh, increasing the, the Nigeria trade flow within the ECOWAS, which is about 11% now, to about 20%. And then if you look at uh, the aggregate uh, non-oil export of um, Nigeria to Africa, yeah. is uh, it's about 11%. We need to move that to about 25 percent. Absolutely. You know, so because the, the, the environment is now ripe, you know, people are willing to come in, you know, so the, the labor activities are actually going to, you know, to increase. Yeah. And between exporters and importers, where do you see the most demand? You know, even though we're Nigeria Export Import Bank, yeah. the import aspect is very small. The import aspect is anything that can enable us to produce a value-added goods for export. We are not uh, financing um, um, goods for consumption or finished goods. We are, we are financing industrial raw materials. We are financing plant and machinery that you want to bring in. We are basically facing export. How do we promote export for the country? Sure. So the, the import content is anything that will enable you to produce an exportable good. Okay. That is where we are.